Welcome back. Tis the season of giving, but one local organization is feeling the effects of a big toy store closing its doors earlier this year. Yeah, every year Toys for Tots depends on a generous donation from Toys R Us to help supplement donations. But with the toy giant closing earlier this year, local Toys for Tots organizers say they are thousands of toys short for those in need this year. 17th Mary Kate Paquette joining us live at Christ Cathedral Church in South Bakersfield where you can see firsthand just how empty what would normally be an overflowing bin um, is behind her there. Good morning, Mary Kate. Good morning, Maddie Alex. That's right. Imagine this. Thousands of kids in our community not getting toys this Christmas because donations just simply aren't coming in. That's the reality here at Toys for Tots. Now, Toys for Tots usually depends heavily on uh, Toys R Us making a generous donation and helping them get discounts um, at their stores so that they can get all of these kids' toys. But with their closure this, this past summer, they're really feeling the effects this year. They are thousands of toys short. Now, I'm joined here by uh, local organizer Darlene Dowdy and Miss Kern County, Carrie Kehoe. Miss Kern County organization partners up with Toys for Tots every year to help kind of rally the troops and get everybody out here and donate and get things sorted and uh, distributed. But this year, we're really seeing the effects. Now, Darlene, why are we so short this year? Well, Toys R Tots, or Toys R Us was a corporate sponsor, as you said, and people would go in there and go shopping, and they would drop toys in the bins for us. We would come by every single day in December and pick up toys. That's not happening anymore, so people aren't aware that what an impact losing those toys are, and our trailers here are seeing the effects of it. We have two days um, and maybe, you know, two weeks till Christmas, but for us, we're in our last 48 hours and our distribution is this Saturday. I'm gonna, we're gonna step out of the way here so we can really show what normally would be a completely full bunker. These bunkers would be totally overflowing at this point. You wouldn't be able to see the back. You wouldn't really be able to even step in these at this point. You can see just how empty they are. Now, Carrie, what, what are we asking for the community? Why is it so important that we get these toys out here by, we've got two days left to rally the troops here. Correct. So, like she said, at this point, we would typically be preparing for distribution, and 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 we are um, now getting ready. I mean, we need to sort toys, and we don't have toys to sort. So, we really need as much um, kind of as many people to come together as possible. Um, if you are able to donate monetarily, we um, Miss Kern County has set up a PayPal, the Miss Kern County Pageant at Yahoo. Uh, dot com um, for PayPal donations and we will purchase the toys uh, for uh, on their behalf and make sure they get to where they need to go ages 0 to 2 and 10 to 15 are where we seem to be the lowest um, the older guys seem to be the ones that get left out the most unfortunately but yeah typically these bunkers are completely full you can't we can't even walk in and you can as you can see they're not even halfway full um, there will be thousands thousands of kids this year that may not get Christmas because they depend on Toys for Tots to have a Christmas. I was going to touch on that. If we don't get these donations in the next two days, Darlene, what, what is it going to look like for these kids? Um, it's going to be very sad because when you're sitting at home and your kids are opening their presents, uh, there's going to be so many less fortunate children that will have nothing. And we're trying to give them the hope that someone cares and that um, they can have a, a Christmas morning just as uh, nice as you're going to have yourselves. All right, well, you can see that these bunkers are so empty. Darlene and Carrie, we're all asking for you guys to, out in the community to come on out and help get these toys filled. There are so many different uh, donation locations, and we're going to post all of that on our website. Um, between churches and stores and um, all, all different locations, um, we're going to touch on that in the next half hour and get that on our website. So, Maddie, Alex, I'll send it back to you.